to uh, Drive Center Arena and uh, today's, actually this, this weekend's organization is um, held by Festival of Speed, it's a Norwegian company I believe and they have made a tree day track day, it was actually supposed to be like a big festival but I think uh, since uh, this is the first time they take the event from Norway to Sweden they haven't really been able to move all all stuff that should be moved so it's more, it's more or less a tree day track day here today instead uh, but I think it's gonna be really cool to to uh, go around the track anyway it's always fun to go track day and it's very affordable I think because for three days I pay roughly like 1000 Swedish Kron for, for three days track day but I'm only gonna be here I think for one or two I haven't decided if we stay over or not um, there is a uh, rip, there is uh, a legend car and there is uh, drifting and I think uh, that's about it. Uh, normally as I said there should be like a big festival also but I think uh, um, maybe next year I will never have it here and for sure I will try to come back here. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to see the legend car because I've never seen them on, on the track before. So I think it could be really interesting to see when they when they go. Oh, There's like small retro car with motorbike engines. So I think they're super fast and, and sound really cool and, and fun to see. And also uh, the grip and uh, some some I think two grip sessions for days for only for grip car. But uh, the other grip session is we share the truck with the drifter, so it can be really interesting also. So. Uh, not sure if it's going to be a competition for drifting also, so it can, can be a really, really good day here today. And as you can see, the weather is super, so yeah. Uh, I will uh, prepare myself and uh, go out on the track.
Okay, uh, I have to say it has been a really, really good day here today and uh, plenty of time on the track. Actually, when I came here this, this morning and uh, as I stated, there was only two pure grip sessions and uh, the other session you, you share the track with the uh, drifters. I actually thought it's not going to be so much uh, time on the track, but the drift session is, is really, really long compared. I think they, I don't know how long, but it's, it's, they're longer than, than the grip sessions. And uh, also the drift cars, they only out for a few few laps, then they go back into the depot and change tire or cool down or anything. So you actually have plenty of space on the track and you have also a lot of time on the track. So I think uh, it was way more track time for me than I expected. So it's it's really good. Uh, I have uh, another track day and competition next week weekend. So I'm not into buying new set of tire because this is like the end of the season. So I need I need um, some tires left for next week, and so I, I think uh, it was really good practice and, and fun day to, day here today. So I think uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased pleased with it. As I understand, this uh, festival of speed will come back next year to to Sweden and, and Fellfors, I hope. And uh, I think then it's actually going to be like a regular festival that they intended to be. Now it's more like three day tech track days and, and drifting and uh, actually I think also there is gonna be a drag racing or drag battle here uh, in a few minutes so that I will go have a look at uh, yeah we can uh, see if we can walk up to the depot if we have time and then uh, that's a wrap All right people who is into JDM cars for sure I think they know this this uh, first white one here it's a Nissan Stadia, it's uh, similar to Skyline but with uh, Combi, so to say. And I think it's RB25 in this uh, car for when they come. So, look pretty cool, it's pretty long but I'm not really, it's not my favorite cup of tea though. Because I think it's uh, too similar to a Volvo. <laughs> I hope uh, the owner don't get mad at me now. Your deal's good though. Yes! This one is really cool. Beautiful car. And this another. Cool. And here we have uh, my mate, Boss Mange. And uh, people who follow my channel know I had some ride along with him. In Disco Dance earlier this year. Jag ska bara ställa upp undan mig. Jag har ingen fara. Jag har inte sett att det är en fara. Jag vet inte vad den här kåren är, men jag gillar den stilen av det. Det sitter en vankel i den här. Jaha, vad fan. Det finns inte riktigt vanlig. Okej, det är... Oh shit. Det är en vankel i den. Jag tror att det är 13B Rev. Eller Rev 13B. Jag kan inte huvudet vilken sätt du pronunerar det. Jesus. I guess this is a death trap.
Audi R8. Uh, would be fun to try this one out on the track. I see he was out uh, doing some laps, but I think uh, he didn't really push, I think, because it's a very expensive car and maybe first time on, on this track, so. A little bit over my budget. Some cool drifter. Porsche breaking this one. Let's see. see. So this uh, one on the track is uh, really monster, super cool.
hoppas att det var det som är ändå. Ja, och den är ju inte, den är ju inte topp norsk bilen. För du vet, jag har ju en skada bak som jag putsat till och fixat och, och gjorde färdigt. Men, men jag får säga att det är ju en one here is actually from my city and we also in the same group so ja ja jag har på film ja för det här med när vi snurrar runt ja det också vi har fått gas hängt så jag sa det var lite svårt att reglera ja okej borde man släppa kopplingen då är det Jag är full efter, jag kör inte äggna så jag kör efter ett tag också när du ja, just det. fick det där. Ja, exakt. Ja, det var riktigt. Ja, jo, den går ju bra ändå. Ja, visst. Ja, det är en ny motor det faktiskt. Okej. Okay. Sist vi sprängde den 2020 så vi har packat ja. ny nu i det som är vinter. Okej. Okay. Så det är första testet nu. Var det Volvo hade du förut? Ja, det är likadant mot okay. den. Det är bara att vi har portat upp den lite och så har vi bytt i en sug. Och, ja, just det. Och det gjorde ganska mycket på, på bänken ändå. Ja, vad ligger du på nu? Ja, nu är det typ... 550 hästar på hjulen kanske, och okay. så på 1,9 bara för avtryck. Oh, wow. <laughs> så är kurvan där så ändå upp till 7000 varv har vi oh. typ 660 newton på väggen. Så okay. ja, det är nöjd. Ja, jag kan tänka mig det. Bra. Bra tryck. Ja. Oh. Nice. Ja. Okej, okay, jag vill explain what we talk about uh, since some of you might not know Swedish. Uh, I did an interview with this guy and a small uh, drifter presentation a few years ago and since then he actually blew that engine and he has to rebuild a new one and this uh, it's not exactly the same setup as the old one but uh, I think he can rev this engine up to 7000 rpm and uh, 1.7 or if he said 1.9 bar of boost and uh, 550 at the wheels so This one said 28. It was actually cool to see this one on the track. It's not often I think we see them here in, in uh, Sweden on the track. And. Uh, There are so many different versions now of uh, I believe it's Camaro and uh, I can't really say what kind of engine this is and what is any uh, manual transmission in this one. Det är för sommertöffet. 
Nej, ah, jag filmar bara för mig själv liksom, ah. Youtube-kanal så. Jag kan smälla lite. Ja, jag hoppas jag hör det. <laughs> ja, okej. Okay. Pretty cool. He did this just to show off uh, to our channel. So, yeah, cool guy. And this one here, uh, beer said that I think. Uh, I'm not sure he was out at the same time on the track, but this it's a grip car. Yeah, he's he driving grip here today anyway. And he was really, really fast one with this one. Too bad it's, uh, the hood was closed because I would like to see the engine set up in this one. Well, I like when you can see that the car is using or used. It's not like. Uh, only a show car. I like when you can see that they like use and abuse. So really digging the style on this one. This guy here, we was out on the track same times. I believe it's a Ford Capri or something, I think. The cold. Not 100 here now. And here we have a BMW. Also a group car. We was out on track same time uh, a couple of times.
look like a really serious machine, but I don't think I've seen it on the track. Uh, maybe it's been out and when I not was standing and looking so. Here we have uh, the Legend Core and uh, as I said it's they're looking like small retro car with, uh, I believe it's motorbike engine in this ones, and there is a league in here in Sweden with legend car. It's not only in Sweden, different different countries has I think different league, but it's uh, super cool cars I think. Take a look inside.
Supra MK3 with the engine swap to 2J. Uh, don't really remember the name of the original engine. This one, I think is 7 LM GTE. I think it's called the original engine, and it's uh, not the bad engine the original, one, but it was like famous because the many times it blew the top. Uh, the top bolt was. Uh, not connected with the right uh, uh, Newton, so to say. So, uh, but if you fix that one, the seven LM GT is pretty pretty good thing, I think. But I think uh, the two year is is, is better. <laughs> It's a <coughs> Toyota Sora. It's uh, similar also to uh, Toyota Supra, but this one it has uh, one J set, I believe it's called. Uh, a little longer wheelbase, I believe, also, so it's uh, maybe more suitable for drifting, but uh, they start to become rare as as as, as do the Supras. So yeah. we can finish off with my Integra. So I will not talk so much about this one. Right, that was a walk around in the depth area with uh, some exhibition car.